Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 10 of my 6x6x6 paper pad series. So today I'm working with um, the Cute Girl collection and I've chosen to use these photographs of um, my husband and um, my Labrador, Bella. And these have been kicking around in my photo box and um, as I said I just want to get all the photographs scrapped for this year so I've just uh, matted those photographs onto that rainbow paper and I went uh, for an inclusion of the three colours the green the yellow and the pink and then I've pulled out some coordinating papers from the um, the six by six pad so I'm going to start punching these are a three inch heart so I'm going to start punching these out and um, I'm going to punch um, a load of hearts in all three colours um, in different sizes. So um, I'm going to go do this one first of all. And then I'm going to layer the hearts um, to the right of the top photo and then to the left of the bottom one. And I'm going to keep that, although it looks like a scrap, I'm going to keep that uh, pink and white stripy paper. Because um, I'm going to need that for the smaller hearts. So I'm just coming in here with the green paper now. And I realised I only actually needed um, two of the three inch hearts, one for the top and one for the bottom. And this is how it's going to look and then I'm going to add some smaller hearts in. I'm going to do three sizes um, of hearts. I'm going to bring in um, my smaller punch to um, punch out some smaller ones. So I've got this off cut of a heart here and I'm just using that to, um, because I've used that whole sheet pretty much. Um, so in this in total, um, I think I use four, um, yeah, four full sheets of um, six by six paper, which is a good amount to use on any layout. So I was um, super happy with that. So I'm just coming back in. As I said, that there looks like a scrap, but I'm just using the, um, the edge bit to um, punch out some other smaller hearts. So I've got a range of punches that I'm using here. Um, that's an X cut punch there. I think they're all from Hobbycraft though. And then I'm just layering up those hearts um, to form sort of a top and a bottom cluster. And then I've just put it on fast forward to get it all stuck down. So I wanted to use up these scraps as well um, of paper that I have left. And I'm just cutting down some strips in different widths and uh, different lengths. And then I'm just going to layer them over the top of each other um, and form a little paper cluster to the bottom left and then to the top right. And that pulls the colour to the bottom of the page and it will pull it to the top so I'm just going to stick that down and then um, cut off the excess yellow because I don't want too much showing on there and then I'm just going to do exactly the same thing so apologies that this ends up a little bit off camera in a second but all I'm doing is just sticking the paper strips on top of each other and then that will be the um, top uh, that will be the top layer It'll go up in the top right hand side. There we are, just getting that stuck down with some ATG. And again, just turning over and trimming the um, excess off the top. And then I'll come in with the embellishments. So um, I'm going to first of all put my title down and it's going to be Puppy Love. I thought it was a nice simple title. Um, to explain the photos now I was a bit worried there's a lot of pink on here and there's my husband in the picture but because my dog is a girl um, I thought it'd be okay and I sort of um, included the green and the yellow to sort of tone down the pinkness anyway so <clears throat> it really doesn't it really doesn't matter so I'm just going to use my t-square ruler to line up my title it's a nice easy way to get everything straight. Now these might need to be stuck down 
um, with some wet glue. I'm not too sure. I know the chipboard thickers are normally uh, normally don't like to stick, but we'll see how I get on with those. So I'm just going to go through the ephemera. I found that die cut love word, um, and this little pink. I, I think it's a cat, um, but it doesn't bother me. We're all about the random ephemera now, right? So just going through the final pieces. There's some big bits in this um, ephemera pack, but I like that totes adorbs um, die cut there. So I'm going to pull that and um, try and use that. And then these little um, hearts, squiggly hearts on an acetate piece. Um, I'm going to try and use that up as well. So I come in with these 3D hearts um, and I choose one that says love you and one that says, I can't actually remember what it says, it says cute girl. And I know that we're talking about a dog but again, not, not worried. So I'm just adding on these little um, hearts from the sticker sheet which matches the acetate piece at the top and I do want to bring in a bit more a bit more black on this layout um, but I'll do that as I go through with just little pops of uh, a black being included um, so I add on this word um, strip sticker and it says oh darling and then that top one there it says hey girl and I think I've tried to use this sticker before because it was half hanging off the sheet. So I thought I'd just pop it on here. It's as sweet as can be. And I'm not sure I include anything else from the sticker sheet. I think I'm done with that. And then I look at the puffy stickers. And um, I love these little butterflies and they match so well with the colours as well. Um, so I'm going to add those on one into that top cluster, one into the bottom. And I like this black um, scallop banner piece. So I chop it in half and I add um, half onto the bottom of the that photo and then the other half um, underneath the bottom of the other photo. And again, that's bringing that pop of black in that I wanted. And I'm just going to stick down this um, acetate piece after I've got the backing off. And I probably will go back and um, add some stitching at a later date. But my um, my sewing machine is, um, is packed so I can't do that currently. So I'm just then going to use literally the end bits of those papers that I've used that is the last scraps that I've got left so I'm just going to layer that um, ephemera piece over the green and the yellow um, just because white on white it was getting a bit lost so um, backing that onto the same pattern paper um, does help it pop and again just trimming the edge off there and then I'm just going to come back in with the puffy stickers again. I do still want a bit more black on here. So I just pull these black puffy stars um, and add a couple into the um, top cluster and into the bottom cluster. And I think the final couple of things to be stuck down is just that love uh, die cut piece from the ephemera pack and also the cat die cut as well it needs to be stuck down I'm just going to position that back in I think where I'd um, pulled it out of and this is pretty much my layout done um, I'm going to add a black doodly border around the edge just to bring it all in together um, so thank you very much for watching and um, if you've enjoyed this video and it's brought you inspiration please give this video a thumbs up um, if you haven't done so already then um, do subscribe for um, loads more videos coming your way um, and yeah thank you very much um, any comments do leave them down below and I'll see you all next time bye